right? And so they're becoming scarce in stores. But new ones will be coming out next month. But other parts, other PC parts are... Dude, there's some really good deals right now, man. There's some sick deals, man. Sick, bruh. All right, let's continue. Let's continue. Oh, way better. Now we're at 60 FPSers. 60 first person shooters per second. All right, strange, strange picture. Is that a Picasso? Hair, feathers, and scales. What is this horror? Terrible, right? Unbelievable. Is this high art? I couldn't believe it when Laura brought it home. I can imagine. At first, I thought she was joking. But that was over a year ago. It still scares me to death at night. Well, don't look at it at night. When the moonlight hits it and lights up that face. Uh, 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 uh. Marty! Why didn't you tell me before, you big stupid feather pillow? Oh, about the baby. It's been a lifetime since you were last here, huh, Boss Bird? That's right. I hardly recognize it. Well, you should have come more often. We invited you. I know, Marty. You're right. I feel stupid. And as for Laura... I'm sorry again for not telling you. It wasn't intentional. I'm, I mean, maybe a little. I didn't want you to worry about us. She's glowing. Yeah, she's been cleaning all day. Uh, no, I mean, I mean the apartment. <laughs> Everything is, is glowing. Oh, yeah. Thank you. She's doing really well. She's a whole new woman since we found out. This uh, changes It's chicken everything. police, it's Captain Savo. World. It doesn't change anything. <sighs> Thank you. Boy or girl, do you already know? Uh, nope, we don't know yet. I mean, Laura doesn't want to know, but I have a feeling it's a boy. These top cock jeans, you know, how could they produce anything else? <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I'd be shocked too, but don't get ahead of yourself. Life is full of surprises. It sure is. The last few days are especially full of them. Tell me about it. First Frank, then Lewis. Than this. I don't even know if I'm a boy or a girl anymore. <laughs> Take a load off, Sonny. Dinner will be ready soon. Okay. I've got some digesting to do. Uh -huh. Yes, you do. What? I wonder if he's going to peck at his meal. My Lara. She's positively glowing. Laura. It's funny that in all the years I've worked with Marty, I've only been to his place a couple of times. It always intrigued me what such a phenomenal woman was doing with a bird brain like him. Now I just envy them. Okay, hold on. I can't fix it right now, man. Is it not enough? Dude, can't... I don't give a fuck about it. Laura, it's been funny in all the years. I wish it was... Uh, yeah. Uh, you two have a, a beautiful apartment. Sonny, you're cute. But I don't need the small talk. Just 
try to relax and have a good time. I'm glad you came. I'm glad too. I guess, uh, yeah. Anyway, I was, uh, <laughs> was kind of surprised to hear the, the big news, but congratulations. Thank you, Sonny. It really is a miracle. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I remember when uh, Tessa was, uh, yeah, never mind. <clears throat> Silly stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna go get a drink now. Okay, Sonny. I do have a new one, yeah. <laughs> Pretty good, right? Yeah. Thank you. Thanks to uh, Karma. All right. Sorry, guys. There's something dear Marty forgot to tell me, which explains a lot. Oops. Something dear Marty forgot to tell me which explains the yeah, yeah, she's preggy. She's prego. We know that. There's something. Alright. And Mon. What's up with Mon? She's looking great tonight. Real leg show going on. Strange to see Monica here now, and yet I feel that she's always been part of the team. Alright. Everything okay, Mon? Of course. I feel fantastic. And Laura is so beautiful. Thanks for inviting me, Sonny. It wasn't me, but uh, <clears throat> thanks for coming. You're welcome. This could be a regular thing, right? Oh? Maybe we shouldn't get ahead of ourselves. Come on, Marty. Lighten up, dude. You ain't gonna get any better than Monica for crying out loud. She's so happy talking to Laura. I, I won't bother her anymore. You sure about that? <laughs> All right, she's good. Okay. So, let's see. Let me hit, turn on the, uh, the thing that shows you where the things are. Dinner, I guess. I guess dinner time. We'll eat, and then we'll talk. I'm uh, apprehensive. Oh, come on. It's just a little dinner with friends. If we had a normal relationship, we'd do this every month. Really? Is that a thing? You think Moses and Plato go up to each other's places? Cluck, no. Moses is even more socially insensitive than you. And Plato probably lives in a cardboard box in an alley. But that's not the point. We should do it more often. Okay, well, uh, let's do it again when I get back from the wilderness. Oh, yeah. That around-the-world journey of yours. Of course. Are you ready? Hell no, and I'm not worried about the food. I bet you're not. What do you eat at home? Cigarette butts and whiskey? Pretty much. Uh, lately, I've been on a super healthy hemp seed mush diet. Ugh, sounds awful. It is. Dinner is served. Uh, yep, let's eat. I'm starving. I don't have much of an appetite. Sonny, please. Okay, okay. Yeah, lighten up, dude. We're at a dinner party, man. And then the rhino says, if you gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Marty. Oh, stop it, Martin. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Classic. Oh, yeah, that was good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Martin, how about giving Monica a hand in the kitchen? I'd like to have a word with Sonny. That's sure. Scarlett Johansson. Mon? Yeah, let's go. So, here we are. It's Scarlett Johansson. What did you want to say? I think you know exactly, Hi. Sonny. You want to try Ever something? Ever since you walked into the apartment and saw me. You're right. Well, it was hard not to notice. By the way, you knew I didn't know. Muffins for the Raiders, please. Welcome, Jeremy and the Raiders. We're at a dinner party. And uh, our partner's wife is uh, Prego. I wouldn't say I knew, but I had a hunch. Anyway, uh, Marty's a good kid. In fact, he's not a kid anymore. I I'm sure he'll be a good father. Martin has always been a very devoted husband. 
but when it comes to work, I'm out of the picture. It's like I don't exist. Yeah, I know. And it's my fault. Now that I'm in this condition, it's time for him to decide. His job, or me. Uh-oh. Effectively, you, Sonny. Or me. I tried to shake him off more than once. Ah, oh, Cluck, we didn't even talk to each other after our, uh, incident. And yet, somehow we always found each other again. As the bullet makes the wound. Yeah. I know. And that's why I'm asking you in person, please, let him go, Sonny. Send him away. Even if it means breaking his heart. Because he'll never leave you on his own. <sighs> okay, Laura. That's gonna be I'll tough. That's Honestly, gonna be tough. Sonny, not the usual way, but for real. No more someday, no more soon. Will you do it? Now. I now? So. I mean, uh, yes, I'll do it. Thank you, Sonny. You don't know how much this means to me. No, I don't, but I understand, and you're right. Hey, what's with the dark mood? Fuck you, McChicken. You didn't bite his head off, did you, darling? We were just talking, and, uh... Besides, it's getting late. Yeah, I got work tomorrow. Well, thank you for your hospitality. It was... it was wonderful. As Sonny says. Thank you, Laura. Dinner was fantastic, and you are beautiful. Oh, come on. I hope you'll come back more often. You mean... together? Well, I... <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure there'll be an opportunity, Laura. I'll walk you out. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Well, we gotta break up with Could you Marty. Uh, please get in the car, Ma, and I'd like a word with Marty. Um, sure, Sonny. Whoa, that sounded serious. Listen, I know Laura's cooking, well, it looks better than it tastes, but... Shut up for a second. Oh, okay. Listen, Marty. Laura and I have been talking, and although I had a hard time admitting it at first, She's right. Uh, this is starting off bad. Listen, I'm not gonna stall. I'm just gonna say it. You're having a baby, and I'm old. It's time for, for you to go right and me to go left. The chicken police was a great ride, but... No! It's over. Wow. Uh... Shit, that's... Uh, that's a lot, huh? Yeah, it is. I knew this day would come, but... I always hoped we'd die first. It's going a lot easier than I Clock thought. Fucking hell, don't say that. I'm just kidding, Sonny. Well, we both have a new life to start, don't we? Wow, he's you taking it real adventure easy. Adventure into the wild and... And you've got an even bigger adventure into the wild waiting for you. <laughs> yeah. I'm scared to death. You should be. Nothing can prepare you for it. Hey, you're supposed to be encouraging me. Spin off. Yeah, you're right. Well, I survived it. So can you. I'm not sure you're the best example, Sonny. I know I'm not. So that's what all the drinking and shouting was about. Uh, yeah. Laura gave me an ultimatum. The job oh. or her. I wanted to tell you, but I couldn't. Then I stumbled across a bottle of whiskey, and uh, it was easier than facing you. I thought she was mad at him for being a, a drunk. Oh, shit, kid. Don't be like me. Yeah, I guess I figured that out the hard way. So, are we okay? I asked you to do something, you did it. Now it's my turn to do you a favor. We'll go get Frank back, and then it's over. We shake hands, you go on your around-the-world trip, and I go raise a kid. That, uh, sounds pretty good. There you go. So stop whining and step on the gas. Let's finish what we started. You're right. Let's do it, Marty. Let's do it. One last time. Okay, don't say that. It's as if we're <laughs> gonna die. I'll just shut the clock up and let's go. That's better. That was tough. Furry hell. So, the date's off, right? Oh, hey, Mon. Yeah, I, uh, I guess so. Are you at least gonna drop me off at the station before you go kill yourself? Well, I'm going there anyway. Okay, okay. I'm a little angry. No, look, I promise I'll make it up to you. You will? Mm, just take care of Marty, okay? I will. As soon as we entered right. the station, I got a strange, gloomy feeling. Or maybe I still hadn't recovered from the shock of the dinner. No. 
I had the feeling that something bad was going to happen, that we were heading straight to our doom. I haven't had that feeling in my stomach since I was a rookie cop. My feathers were fluffing up. My chest was tight. My crest was tingling. Should I hit the road? Just grab a bottle of bourbon, get on the first train, and never look back? A spinoff, Marty's Mysteries. Or how about, like, Sonny, whatever. I can't think of what his last name is right now. Into the... Not into the hive, but into the wilds. And it's him on the road, and he's solving mysteries out on the road. It could go on forever, man. Ah, I'm so glad we're over that, big guy. No more surprises today, okay? I'm a little dizzy. Come on, don't be such an egghead. Let's get this over with tonight and... And finish the whole thing, huh? The whole thing. I mean... The chicken police. Oh, no way, man. Don't take it like that. We may not be working together anymore, but the chicken police will never end as long as we're alive. I needed that. Yeah, yeah, me too. Come on, you big old bird. Give me a hug. A yeah, hug? Don't clock off me. <laughs> Did you see the subtitles? <laughs> All right, Philmar, you obviously are up in our face. What do you got? Hey, Phil. Why am I not surprised to see you here? Just flying with the wind, darling. You wouldn't happen to be watching us on Lewis's orders, huh? What? What and who? No need to look so dumb. We know everything. Lewis told us. Yeah. Keep it down, you super spies. Even the walls have ears here. Mother cluckers. You think the clan's got a mole in the station? They buy off anybody they can. That's just the way it is. Nothing new. Nobody ever tried to buy me off. What about you, Sonny? Uh, me neither. Why? Well, I wouldn't accept it, but it's a matter of principle. Ha <laughs> ha, you're a funny kid, Marty. But you're lucky you didn't get approached. These bastards get everybody at their most vulnerable. And you're especially vulnerable right now. Because of the little one? Exactly. Hey, even you knew about that? What do you mean? Everybody knows. <laughs> oh, clocking hell, Marty. I swear <laughs> I'll kill you. Hey, don't hurt me. I'm about to be a daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I love when he gets upset. <laughs> well, well, well. A stalwart of the King's Guard. Listen, Phil. If you're following us and you get lost in traffic or something, here's the address where we're headed. Uh, thanks, Sonny. Wait, is this a joke? No, if you're gonna follow us anyway, I don't want you to lose our track halfway. Oh, uh, okay. Hello, Mungalunga Dingus. Hello, Innie. Welcome to Monday. <laughs> All right, we got a new ask topic. The King's Guard, right? We found out from Lewis that uh, a lot of these guys are big top-notch spies. So, since when? Am I standing here? Since when are you a member of the King's Guard, you buffoon? Ah, so you even know our lame name. I didn't make that up, believe me. Phil, get to the point. <sighs> a few years ago, Lewis recruited me. It was good money. And I agree with what they're doing. Plus, I was tired of chasing sad dames' husbands around in smoky joints. I wanted more. Uh, didn't we meet in a smoky joint? Yeah, but now I'm chasing kings and queens in smoky joints. Makes my beak taste a little different. I'll bet. And you were watching us. Who do you think called for help when you broke into the Wessler estate? Or who softened uh... up the queen before you got to the distant light? Oh, wow. So, a big thank you is in order. At the very least, you pluckers. <laughs> the kids, insane se female says the kids are off school this whole week because of Thanksgiving and deer season. I didn't realize kids got off of school for deer season. That's interesting. Is, um... Insane Penguin, a, a hunter? Is he going to go hunting deer this week? 
All right, select your pie thing. All right, he helped us with all that shit. Thanks. Well, thanks, I guess. It was hard to say, wasn't it? I see it's killing you. Leave me alone. <laughs> okay, we're good here. Oh, okay. Well done. Thank you, Rick Dangerous. Thank you, Rick. Paying attention. All right. Secrets of the Church. Something with Kayla. Frank, we still need to figure out... Filmar's done. Lewis and the King are done. So Blood Boil's birthday. Gotta give the old dog a present. What do, have we... Yeah, what... But what do we have that would be suitable? Did we pick up anything yet recently? Uh, nothing new. Let's talk to Moses and Plato. The detective genius and his pussycat. <laughs> We hear you've got a hot lead. Just don't burn yourselves, chickens. I'm afraid we're a little burned already, kitty. But we're made of tougher stuff, so don't you worry. But you're not doing anything illegal, are you? I mean, you're not breaking any laws or anything. What? Come on, Moses. You've never done anything like that. And he says that uh, they get out of school if you live in a small town, and the majority of families will call the kids in sick to school to take him out hunting instead. Is that irony? Your senses are one of a kind, Mr. Master Detective. And that's cynicism. You're amazing, Moses. Hey, don't mess with us, chickens, or you'll regret it. We're all on the same team. We're doing what we've always done. Just kidding, guys. Relax, we're all on the same team. I'm not always so sure of that. Don't be such a misery, Moses. Laws are there to be interpreted freely. What? No, not at all. I don't <laughs> like what I see in your eyes, boss bird. We're gonna get to the bottom of this, Mon, once and for all. Just get out of this in one piece, okay? And let me know if there's anything I can do to help. You're an angel. I know, Marty. But I don't want you to meet any other angels tonight, okay? Understood. Good. All right, new location. New location? Sonny, you didn't tell the captain that you knew about the secret strike force, did you? That's the type of question that you know the answer to, but you ask anyway. Are you answering a question with a question because you don't want to answer it openly? What's going on here? I don't really understand. I admit, I don't either. Whatever your answer is, Sonny, we know that the Chief knows that you know. All right, that's enough. Want to get a cup of coffee, Marty? Count me in. <laughs> okay. All right, so new location. Mm-hmm. Ubo's, Sonny's, Zips, Distant Light, Hive, Meat, meat Factory. All done. It was time to put an end to the matter. When I looked at Marty, I saw nothing but confidence. Perhaps naive, but determined and brave. Like some demigod from ancient mythology. An indestructible rooster. And then it occurred to me, <laughs> I wanted to be like him. Slowly, Let's the go. outline of the factory began to appear. Beat. The sky was even darker here. Was it the smoke, or was it some This is cool, cloud? man. Either way, I had to summon all my strength. Marty was counting on me, and so was the city. One last run, old cock. One last run. And there it stood in front of us. The former textile factory, looking like a fortress. While black smoke rose from its chimneys, beams of light from its towers searched for anyone foolish enough to trespass. Well, here are two dumb cluckers doing just that. It really is a fortress. Barbed wire, searchlights, 
They don't make it easy. Hiding in plain sight. No sane animal would set foot in the hive. We're nuts. I still want to get these guys. And if everything goes to plan, they'll be behind bars soon, Marty. Amen to that. But no heroics, okay? All we have to do is get proof of what we suspect. And of course, get Frank's body out of there. Right, I almost forgot about Frank's body. All right, let's look around here. Boom, hit the X. We got a tower. Meat. Uh, I shudder when I look at these huge towers. Okay. Are they playing war games or what? If they find out what we're doing here and the Clawville police invade the hive, it's certainly going to be war. Shit. Can this city take that? I don't know, but right now, I see no better way. We're clucked. Certainly are. Cluck and hell. Fat. Quite a building. It was one of the largest clothing factories in the whole city. In fact, the whole empire. Wouldn't it have been in the Crown's interest to protect it? Ah, by the time the clan got their hands on it, the business was already going bust, thanks to the Segregation Act. Ah. So the crown is responsible for this madness in the hive. Ugh, this economic, political stuff gives me a headache. Ah, you don't have to think about it, Marty. Just be there when the fast bullets fly. That I can do. Fast bullets fly. They have a whole fleet. They've already swamped Clawville with this stuff, but I'm afraid they won't stop here. The colonies? Best case. But worst case, the whole wilderness. Unless they're stopped by the legendary chicken police. Let's just get this done, okay? With you, boss bird. It settled down with Bertha there, guy. Holy cow, man. He swings that thing around a little much. Go back? You know what? I do want to go back. Well, that was fun. Now let's go home. I know you're joking, Sonny, but I've been thinking the same thing. Don't think too much, Marty. You'll strain something. Should we go in? Yep. All right, we're not going back. Okay. <laughs> I, w I didn't realize when I clicked on this that we would be taking us away from a chance to offer something to uh, the Bloodhound for his birthday. We haven't solved that yet, and we and then we also there was another thing we didn't solve yet back there. But maybe it's too late now. Maybe I fucked that up. I don't want to know what's in these. I think we already know, partner. <laughs> All right, I guess we're going in. Well, the main entrance is impossible. Unless we come in with a tank. <laughs> if only Blood Boil's poster tank was real. A tank is never a good solution, Marty. Wow, what am I saying? Is that from some general fella? Yeah, from Colonel Santino. I'm too old for this shit. Featherland. Oh, Sonny Featherland, <laughs> that's my name. Hey. There seems to be a light on the side. Looks like a back entrance. If we can get down that hill, this looks like a better place to get in than the front. I agree with you there, Marty. Okay. Back door. Look at this, Marty. A back door, away from everything, all lit up. Isn't that a wonderful coincidence? Huh, they could have written in big red letters, Crap! Yep, and <laughs> on the nose. We're just going in anyway, right? That's what we do, young fella. It's what we do! Scary walls. Are they trying to keep something out? Or they want to keep something in? Probably both. All right, we're going in. You ready? Always ready, partner. I wish I shared your enthusiasm. It seems too easy, doesn't it? Did they really just leave the door open? Marty, look over there. I got a bad that... feeling about oh, this. Oh, no. Frank, there's a reason they left the door open. It really is a trap. They want us to see what they're doing. Why would they do that? Because they've led us all the way here by our beaks, Marty. Strange little clues in strange places. The gold tooth, the secret message, you name it. 
We're just pawns in their game. Don't write yep. us off yet, young fella. We know something about Frank they don't. Right. What Frank himself told us. What was that again? <laughs> what he said before he died. Yeah. He said, the meat is right. us. We can guess what that means. Clock, we know exactly what it means. And what else? Uh, something about not eating that shit? He said, I swallowed that shit. The fake meat, right? It's understandable he'd be angry about it after he found out what it was made of. That's what I thought at first. Then I realized Frank was trying to tell us something more. Before Mick shot him, he swallowed something. Something important. A piece of evidence. That's what the note on the strange paper said. I hid it where no one will ever dare search for it. Only through my cold body. This means that... Brace yourself, Marty. Oh, no. <laughs> We're not. Yeah. We have to open Frank up. Oh, no. And get that thing out of him. So we cut open our dead friend, take out what he swallowed, and then somehow get the cut-up body out of here? That's the plan. And we've got to hurry. Good plan. Fortunately, there's not Do a it. single filthy psychotic element in it. You know me, always trying to think sober. Yeah. Well, another check mark on my bucket list, that's for sure. So, how do we get started? We start by taking a deep breath. Great wild ones, have mercy on us. Okay, Frank? Oh shit. It's definitely Frank. Look at the antlers. Well, looks like they haven't started yet. Yeah, we just made it. They could be back any minute, so we gotta hurry. Gotcha. Oh god. Frank's autopsy. <laughs> oh no! We got a mini game out of Frank's autopsy. Frank has swallowed some crucial evidence. Dissect him and find it. Each step of the procedure will start with selecting a tool. <coughs> a flyer will help you decide what to pick. Nip, cut, and suck along the correct path. Frank, okay. Let's, let's, I guess, let's. <laughs> let's do it. Oh, poor Frank. Oh, no. Poor me. I think we need the scalpel. Oh. Saw? Don't lose your head. Oh, God. Oh, this is nasty, dude. Ah, oh, come on, man. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, uh. Poor Frank. I'm sorry, old boy. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay. Uh. Why are we carving through with this hypodermic? Oh, we're sucking all the gross shit out. I see. Okay. Oh, that's nasty. Okay. <laughs> Cleaning it up a little. Cleaning it up a little. Select the garlic butter and prepare the boiling water, said Snail. Bro, that's not a lobster. Well, I guess maybe it is, but it's a lamb lobster. All right, the forceps, whatever these things are called. <sighs> oh boy. Snip, snip. Snip, snip. Okay. And now for the these uh, tweezer things, no? Or sucking? Uh. <laughs> More suctioning, bruh. Okay. Very nice. Very good. Great success. Nope. 
Yep. <sighs> <laughs> He's not happy about it. Oh, nasty. Okay. All right, then. Gross. More suction? Uh. Hey, get to the other side. Oh no, it's sp split them right open. Reach in there and get it. Yeah. <laughs> uh. okay. okay, what is that? It's an everlasting gobstopper from Willy Wonka's factory. Uh, what is this? Yuck, how disgusting. Uh. Uh, what's that? It's covered with some kind of tough, sticky slime. Uh, we should get it off. But how? This is where they did the autopsies, right? More like brutal dismemberment. Whatever you want to call it, there must be something we can use. Item received. It's a disgusting ball of goo. It feels like it has something inside. Okay. Let's see. Is the fang on it? No. Okay, let's look around. Okay, so no questions, right? Missing insect bodies. A new cheap meat substitute. Shall I say it? Not sure I want to hear. Fake meat is actually real meat, and it's made from the bodies of insects. Ugh, thanks, Marty. I had to say it out loud. I felt like I was going crazy otherwise. Yeah, me too. Glad that makes did. two of us. What a lovely outlook. Tin cans. Did you find anything? There must be something here that might be of use. What about this? Some kind of acid. Or maybe it's good for the goo ball. Ah, uh, maybe. But what if it eats everything, even what's inside? Any better ideas? No, nope, not really. Well, let's keep looking. There's more things to look at over here. There's stuff here hanging here. What is this? A tail? Look at that. No it way! Looks familiar. Pip's Zip's tail? Treasured Zip. Tail. Not Pip. It's Zip. Surreal to see it like that. Well, get it off. Ugh, I'm not doing it. You get it off. You know, for a rooster, you're a real pussy. Okay. For a rooster, you're a real pussy. Yeah, I see. What a massive machine. What could it be for? Well, Marty, considering it's a meat processor... Do you think this is what moves the thing that grinds the bodies to a pulp? That's exactly what I think. Nasty. Oh, fuck, Frank. Uh-oh. Here we go. Ugh, I don't want to know what that stuff is. Just don't Ugh. touch anything while we're here. You don't have to say that twice. What's that? There's nothing else highlighted. Let's go look in our pouch again. Oh, strong acid. Well, we already decided that won't work, didn't we? Maybe if we dip that zip's tail in the acid, then we can dab it on the thing. It's a ring. Huh. It's got a wolf on it. That looks like uh, Lupus or whatever his name is. A royal signet ring, usually symbolizing royal approval. It is usually only given to those who become the king's favorites and who act in his name. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Maybe we give that to the chief, huh? Yeah, maybe. That'd be a good gift. But it's a clue, see? It's a clue. 
Yeah. Okay. Look. Is this the king's signet ring? It is. Which means... What does it mean exactly? The king himself formed an alliance with a clan? I might have thought so yesterday. But after what Lewis said... Lady Kayla. I'm not sure. She could be dealing with a clan on the king's behalf. They needed a new hideout. Kayla gave it to them. The Hive. She's worshipped like a saint here. She opens orphanages and shelters for the homeless. So the church is essentially a cover. And M-E-A-T makes a cheap meat-flavored product out of insects, which she floods the city with. Uh, I think I'm getting dizzy. She must have run out of the homeless. Is that why they had to dig up graves? By order of the king? The ring must have been Kayla trying to frame the king. But why would she want to frame the very man who gives her power? I don't know yet, Marty. But either way, Frank got the ring somehow. And before he died, he swallowed it. So Mick and his gang couldn't get it. What have we got ourselves into again, Sonny? Well, we got what we came for. We got even more. Let's get the cluck out of here. <laughs> That's the spirit. The cluck! Uh-oh. Hold it right there, fellas. It's Mick the Mandrel, see? The head of the Golden Fang Honey, Gang. did you order pizza? That's him, all right. Yikes. <laughs> I don't think it's a delivery guy. What do my eyes see? Cocks never sleep, huh? Hello, Mick. This night just keeps getting longer. Yeah, I could use a nap. If I could, I'd clap for you guys. But I got a gun in my hand. If it helps, you're a bastard with or without a gun, Mick. Ah, the fool in the leather jacket, am I right? The good cop on the team. No need for the usual routine. Let's just be honest with each other. Cut the crap, Mick. Do what you came here to do. I don't even care. But I do. You know, I want to enjoy this moment. I can't just let it fly away. I want to savor your demise. You don't mind, do you? Cluck you, Mick. And your pathetic puppet gang. You know, sonny boy, better to be a puppet in a new world than a free fool in the ruins of an old one. This is too poetic for you, monkey. Just kill us already. Monkey. Hey, that was good. Thanks, partner. Silence. One more word. What? You're gonna shoot us? Do it. I'll get to that. But first comes the big monologue, right? You know, in a kind of narcissistic, sociopathic fashion. Don't you want to know why this happened? You live and die for mystery and justice, don't you? Well, actually, I'd like to live a few more minutes. You, Sonny? Yeah, and uh, extra points for the live and die remark, Mick. So ask me. What do you want to know? Cluck, you're really enjoying yourself, huh? I've never enjoyed myself so much. Wow, that sounds really sad. Okay, enough with the chit-chat. We're gonna play your game, Mick. Let's get this monkey business over with. Yeah, see? Yeah. Right. Talk with all the characters in the game. Achieve, achieved. We talked to all the characters in the game, so we didn't miss anybody. Hey, Mick, we meet at last. Mick Castle, also known as Mongrel. Mick is the head of the Golden Fang Clan and the second in command of the former Wessler Empire. After the fall of his boss, Mick founded the most su powerful successor to the Fractured Crime Gang. This became the Golden Fang Clan, named after Mick's gold-plated tooth. He's a ruthless psychopath who cares for nothing but himself. I'm sorry it has to end this way, but you walked into the trap, and you did it of your own free will. You killed our friend, Mick. You probably don't understand this, but people matter. So much so that you'd put your own skin on the line? No, I really don't understand, Sonny. You know, where I come from, the strong stays on top. The weak gets left behind. Come on, Mick. Before we killed your boss, you were just a little monkey on his shoulder. Oh, yeah. I wanted to thank you guys for what you did for me. Our pleasure. But you're next in line. 
Then maybe your secretary can be the new leader of the gang. Oh, if I were you, Sonny, I wouldn't crow so hard. The gun's in my hand. See, that's the difference between you <gasps> and me. A gun doesn't make me feel big. Oh, really? I remember now. You didn't pull the trigger, did you? At the Westler Palace, someone pulled it for you. Okay. He's a ruthless psychopath who cares about nothing but himself. Okay. Ruthless psychopath who cares for nothing but himself. All right, let's antagonize him. This trail of clues. Too clever for such a simple monkey. Sonny, after the fall of the Westland Empire, I didn't just magically become who I am. That's for sure. You had to take out a lot of other schmucks first. <laughs> that I did. But they didn't give themselves up easy. But still, all the headaches and planning, it's a bit sophisticated for a simple thug like you. We didn't want to make martyrs out of you guys. It's that simple. That doesn't add up. Maybe for once you're involved in a more complicated case than you can solve. You ever think of that, supercock? In your <laughs> case, Nick? Hey, hey. No, I don't think so. I think you're just a puppet, and somebody's pulling your strings. We did good with that one, all right. Why Frank would we possibly know that he had to die for? Killed our friend, Mick, and you won't get away with it, see? Or if you give yourself up now, you could get off life with the prison, yeah. Ruthless psychopath cares about nothing but himself. You killed our friend, Mick, and you won't get away with it. Frank just knew too much. As cliche as that sounds. <laughs> you know what else is cliche? A gangster with a bullet in his head. Oh, Sonny. That intimidation thing is really not your style. You're known for more snappy repartee. You know, some people are worth changing for. <laughs> that drunk, crazy bug? Uh, he thought he was onto something, but was in the dark the entire time. But he had something you wanted, didn't he? A blind man may perchance hit the mark, huh? That bastard was lucky. That is, until he came face to face with the barrel of my gun. <laughs> You have the king's ring, Mick. Why is it so important to you, see? So we went minus 10 on that one, yikes. <laughs> All right, <coughs> I need to get up real quick, you guys. I'm gonna get up and stretch, let the ad play out. When I get back, we'll continue. Nobody misses anything, I'll be right back. Hello. Hello, magic dog. That was interesting. What, it wouldn't lock on to the moving train, really? What the hell? I'm broken, dude. I can't throw under a crouch. Woo! Look at my stream right now, dude. Woo-hoo-hoo, baby. Woo! Am I safe here? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Only one way to find out. And I found out, yo. Oh, I'm trying to use the cover of, uh, of panic. <clears throat> eh? No problem. Easy peasy. Cover girl. We have a situation here. Hey, it's a pronounced situation, okay? 
We got a situation. I'm sorry, miss. I can't have you holding one of my people hostage. Even if you pull the trigger, I can still take him out. And you. Come on, Willie. She means it. Miss, you're not getting the point. I can't have you holding one of my people hostage. You're crazy! I'm not crazy. I just don't give a fuck. Okay, that's not the right thing to do. I think that's probably the wrong move. I'm just saying. <laughs> Maybe that was the wrong idea. I don't know. Can't be sure. Man, you're full of shit. I did look. Oh wait, wrong, wrong window again. <laughs> you're full of shit. I looked. <laughs> We have the king's ring, Mick. All right, we're waiting for the ad. And the ad, they're coming out of the ad. All right, welcome back. All right, so here we are. We have the king's ring, Mick. But why is it so important to you? We have the king's ring, Mick. But why is it so important to you? I thought you were smarter than that, Sonny. If Frank had leaked that we're operating in the hive with the king's blessing, and the meat is in the hands of the clan, it would unleash chaos too soon. Your house of cards is collapsing, Mick. No matter how hard you try to hold it together, even if you kill us, the animals will find out. The animals? Come on, bird brains. If they wanted to, they'd have found out by now. Just like they would have found out what's in those pretty little cans. Clawville isn't just monsters like you, Mick. <laughs> Clawville is made up of sheep. Greedy, shy little sheep. It doesn't matter what you shove in their faces. What are you getting at? We like chaos, Sonny. Chaos got us where we are. But even in chaos, you need someone to guide you or take control. And that's why we've arranged everything the way we have. And in that plan, you've played your parts perfectly. Huh? Don't get too cocky. This isn't over yet. The way I see it, it's up to me how long we drag this out. Tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Tick tock, uh, tick tock. All right, you might have won this time, but someone will come along and crush you. The force is still strong, Mick. You see what you want to see. You think you're smarter than everybody else? What if we set you up and now the other? Yeah, that one. You think you're smarter than everybody else? What if we set you up and not the other way around? Yeah, how about that? <laughs> oh, now comes the you're surrounded part, right? <laughs> the whole Clawville Police Department waiting in the bushes? <laughs> Come on, dream on, pal. Confidence will be your undoing, Mick. Haven't you felt watched lately? Wait, what are you... What are you battling about? Just look behind you. <laughs> I'm not falling for that cheap, ancient trick, Sonny. You didn't think it would be that easy. 
Honestly, I did, for a moment. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry to disappoint you. Ah, oh, it's nothing. I'll get over it. Damn, I thought he was going to go for it. Minus 20! If there's a riot, you'll be the first to be hung from a lamppost. We set the city ablaze. All will be lost. What we reign over. Is there no one who matters to you? Is there no one who matters to you, Mick? Somebody who's going to get hurt if everything goes to hell. What? What do you mean? You may be a lowlife, but even you have a family, right? What? What's that got to do with anything? You trying to make a fool out of me? It's a simple question, Mick. Is there really no one who matters to you? You know what, chicken? Why not? Why can't I tell you? Uh -huh. Yes, there was someone who mattered. She was my everything. What happened? She's dead. Shot dead in a raid. They thought I was there, but it was just her. By us? The police? Yes, yeah, Sonny. It was you. Yikes. Plus 30. Ah. So you blame us for the loss of your loved one, do you? That's rich. So you blame us for the loss of your loved one? No, Sonny. I'm more intelligent than that. I know she's dead because of me. She was there because of me, and she died because of what I do. You were just a tool of fate. And I should have been there instead of her. So you're gonna keep chasing this madness until you end up like her? No. I'm not the suicidal type. I just have nothing to lose. Maybe... Maybe you can understand that. I have something to lose, Mick. I've got friends. I got a partner. Good for you, Sonny boy. Good for you! But unfortunately, the plan can't be stopped, and one of the cornerstones of that plan is you. The chicken police and the legend you represent. Uh -oh. You can still get out, Mick. Whoever's behind this will crush you, too, when they don't need you anymore. If they do, at least it was my choice. Oh, well, we didn't do... We did oh, not do well. you, furry hell. <laughs> Zero stars. Uh. <laughs> do we go again? Or now? Nah, continue, I think. Right? Continue. Oh, I have to retry. I have to retry. <laughs> I failed so bad. I'm sorry it has to end this way, but you walked oh. into the trap, and you did it of your own free will. You killed our friend, Mick. You probably don't have so much so that you'd put your own skin on the line? No, I really don't understand, Sonny. You know, where I come from, the strong stays on top, the weak gets left behind. Come on, Mick. Before we killed your boss, you were just a little monkey on his shoulder. Oh, yeah. I wanted to thank you guys for what you did for me. Our pleasure. But you're next in line. Then maybe your secretary can be the new leader of the gang. Oh, if I were you, Sonny, I wouldn't crow so hard. The gun's in my hand. See, that's the difference between you and me. A gun doesn't make me feel big. Oh, really? I remember now. You didn't pull the trigger, did you? Okay. So we went with Simple Monkey last time, and it got us plus five. Let's go with this one this time. Why do I feel like someone is leading you on? Why do I feel like someone is leading you on? I can almost hear the melody you dance to. You think I'm that dumb? Pretty much, yeah. No offense, Banana Breath, but that's not your style. Or your half-wit gang. Banana Breath! I just wanted you off the stage. Where else are we gonna kill star cops but in a place where no other cops will set foot? I can understand that, and I'm almost flattered. But I still don't think you cooked any of this up. Sorry, chimp. Oh, you'd be surprised, Sonny. Or oh, you'll be surprised at what I got up my sleeve. Minus 10. Okay, maybe we go the other way and break him. <laughs> uh. If you give yourself up now, you could get off with life in prison. 
It's better than ending up in the gas chamber. Unfortunately, I like to live dangerously, Sonny. Just like your little friend, Frank. Don't take his name in vain, Mick. You're not worthy. Ah, what heroic words. When he was alive, you all laughed at him. The poor bug thought he could be a cop. Frank was a great detective. Nothing's gonna change that. Not even the Segregation Act. <laughs> well, that miserable insect got obsessed. It amused me at first, but then he really got his antlers into everything. And finally, he took a thing that belonged to me. Some valuable trinket? I have a feeling you know the answer to that question very well. We have the King's Ring, Mick. But why is it so important to you? I thought you were smarter than that, Sonny. If Frank had leaked that we're operating in the Hive with the King's Blessing, and the meat is in the hands of the clan, it would unleash chaos too soon. Your house of cards is collapsing, Mick. No matter how hard you try to hold it together, even if you kill us, the animals will find out. The animals? Come on, bird brains. If they wanted to, they'd have found out by now. Just like they would have found out what's in those pretty little cans. Clawville isn't just monsters like you. <laughs> Clawville is made up of sheep. Greedy, shy little sheep. It doesn't matter what you shove in their faces. What are you getting at? We like chaos, Sonny. Chaos got us where we are. But even in chaos, you need someone to guide you or take control. And that's why we've arranged everything the way we have. And in that plan, you've played your parts perfectly. Don't get too cocky. This isn't over yet. The way I see it, it's up to me how long we drag this out. Tick tock. Tick tock. Tick tock. Uh, tick tock. Right, uh. Uh, we did this one last time, so let's go with the top one. You may have won this time, Mick, but someone will come along and crush you, too. <laughs> Maybe, but you know what, Sonny? I'm gonna enjoy this while I can. Then what will be, will be. Okay, Sarah, surprise. Nice, but why do I get the feeling you're just lying to yourself? Sonny, I don't need the psycho talk. There's nothing to decipher here. I saw the chance, and I took it. And here we are. I've got the famous chicken police in my hands. Is that such a big deal? For the city, it is. If you fail, the police department fails in the eyes of the citizens. Oh. For good. But if the city's in total chaos, what are you going to feed on, Mick? We've got a plan, Sonny. Don't you worry about us. Oh, I'm sure there's a plan, but it's not your plan. If we're gonna die anyhow, why don't you tell us who's behind all this? Maybe there is somebody behind me. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> but just don't worry yourself, Sonny. I'll be the one laughing in the end. Well, I'm sure your master will have a word or two to say about that. We're gonna fail again. All right, we did is there no one that matters to you last time. Let's go with if there's a riot. If there's a riot, you'll be the first to be hung from a lamppost, Mick. Are you prepared for that? Oh, I'll be long gone when the wheels start turning, Sonny. You may be a monkey, Mick, but you'll be hunted down like a dog. You still don't understand, Sonny. If we go through with the process we've planned, Clawville will be a different place, a different world with different laws. What's with the plural, Mick? You're not referring to the king's precious advisor, are you? You're just putting the pieces together, huh? Congratulations. Uh -huh. Yes, she's indeed part of the plan. Is that her name, Kayla? I don't think she's going to pull me around like a puppet. I got my own plans. A nice little plan B, with you taking the crown in the end. <laughs> don't make me laugh. It's only funny till you wake up and realize it's already happened. That's how history moves forward. Stop daydreaming, Mick. You'll never be in the history books. At worst, they'll mention me. 
as the gang leader who took out the chicken police. <laughs> you know, Sonny Boy, I'm almost sorry to end this cat and mouse game. You're gonna miss us? Aw, oh, that's sweet. You guys are the reason I'm where I am. I won't forget that, nor the city. You're just a petty little bastard, <laughs> Nick. And whatever you do, you'll always be there. Yeah. But I get it. Somebody's got to do that job. You got that right, detective. You see? <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. We did it. We made it that time. Yay! <laughs> we got one star. We got one star. No. Okay, enough. This is giving me a headache. What's your final word, Mick? What's the end of all this? The plan is unstoppable, Sonny. Lady Kayla marries the king. Okay. The wedding will be a surprise, but perfectly legal. From then on, Lady Kayla will not only be an advisor, she will own the king. Huh? Perhaps even the Council of Twelve. Come on, even she wouldn't do that. That woman is the devil, chickens. I'm a Girl Scout compared to her. But fortunately, her plan coincides with ours, so I have much to gain from our alliance. I knew this wasn't your idea. There was more of me in that than you think. But my role now was only to stall and lead you astray while Lady Kayla sorted everything else out. Ah, so you've been doing all the dirty work. It wasn't that hard. In fact, nothing was easier than to lure you through the city until the time was just right to make our move. You did what you had to do. And even if anyone knows you're here, the police won't be searching the hive for your bodies, because if a bunch of cops march in here, the city will go up in flames. And they wouldn't find anything anyway, because we'd be a can of meat. <laughs> you got that right, sonny boy. In the can. The circle's <laughs> closing. End of story. There'll be another one. But you two... Won't be the main heroes anymore. You'll be chum. Well, at least we had a great ride, right, boss? You bet, Marty. We had a great ride. Now, time to wrap this up. Huh? He's about to kill us. What do you mean, wrap it up? Marty? Marty, where, where are we? Don't you remember, Sonny? This is that night. Oh, no. Please, don't. It's hard to forget, isn't it? The bloody New Year's Eve. How the hell did we get here? And why? I don't know, Sonny. But since we're here... Yeah, let's do what we have to do. Take the glory. You go first. You know, I was pretty green at the time. Yeah, you were. What? Eggs everywhere. Holy feathers, these are... Eggs, Martin. We're in a hatchery. Looks more like a slaughterhouse. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. You do that, but keep your gun in your hand. Yep, I got it, Chief. It's worse than I thought. What kind of animal could do such a thing? Blood. It's fresh. Shit. It's everywhere. Should we call for backup? I checked before we came in. The police phone down the street was disconnected. Wild ones. These guys are pros. And you thought of that? Always the first thing I look for. Slick work, Chief. Don't call me Chief. Okay, boss, boss bird. Whatever you like. <laughs> Whoever it's from has lost a significant amount. Hey, elevator. Blood trail here too. Whoever it was, they tried to escape in the elevator. Looks that way. 
The person was wounded by the counter, then tried to get upstairs, where the hatchlings are kept. The uh -oh. feathered furry hell. You think they didn't? Prepare for the worst, rookie. No one here. The place is deserted. The silence is eerie. Do you think that... that everyone's dead? I don't know, Martin, but we'll find out. A bud. This is blood. Great work, detective. It is indeed. That was irony, right? You'll get used to it. Now we just need to follow the clues. Right, Chief. I don't know much about these places. It's a home for young mothers and abandoned eggs. But there's also an orphanage. Ah, poor <laughs> nestless little wretches. <laughs> Something like that. A good friend of mine runs the place. Oh, I guess that we makes sense. We need to find it fast. I guess that makes sense. I don't know why I laughed at that. Okay. So that's all of this. The phone, can't, nothing there. Can't ding, ding, ding. Back out. Next. Here, nothing. Must be missing something. Blood trail here too. Looks that way. The feathered furry. Prepare for the worst. See nothing. The phone? Nope. More huevos? The smell. Clocking. Nothing else on the floor. Frank is dead. Yeah, yeah. It's all done. So, I don't know what we're supposed to... Oh, here we go. Who are they? That's Mercedes Rivera in the middle. A very good friend of mine. I shouldn't ask you any more questions, should I? Uh, she founded this place. She called me, but there was something wrong with her voice. That doesn't bode well. No, Martin, it doesn't. What happened to you, Mercy? Marty, look over there. Wait, what? Uh huh? Clucking hell. What happened, Mercy? Who did this? I didn't call you, honey, <coughs> but you came anyway. Well, I'm glad. And I hate you so much. No, no, please don't talk. Just hang in there. Hang in there. It'll be, it'll be okay. Did I love you? Yes, I loved you mucho, very much. Mucho. Before that, before the hate. I know, but... Be with your wife, Sonny. And watch out for Kayla. She's a good girl, but she needs help. She needs your help. Who? I don't know who, who that is. What girl? Mercy, don't leave me. Don't leave me here. Huh? Mercy! Say hello to Molly. And be good. 
Mercy, please don't. What? <laughs> oh God. Okay. I barely slept. Nightmares tormented me. Old memories of old cases. Wait, I thought we were old dead. Voices. Where's Marty? And reality blended with the dream. I thought I was dreaming those shots. But when I woke up, reality was more real than ever. Cluck in hell, Marty. I was greeted at the station by dead silence. I never had a harder time crossing that threshold. Hey, boss bird. Morning, Mon. How'd you sleep? Did you get any rest? Honestly, no. Any news? Well, they say, uh... Oh, damn, that's a horrible thing to say, but, uh... He'll live, but he's not in good shape. Can I see him? They won't let anyone near him. Not even Laura. Oh, damn it. It's my fault. What's that, Chief? No, uh, nothing. Nothing important. Listen, Sonny. I think you'd better go home and get some rest. There's nothing to be done now. I've just come from there, Mon. <sighs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. But I think I'm done. What do you mean? Marty's where he is because of me. Laura begged me. I failed. Marty made his own decision. You're not helping anybody by feeling sorry for yourself. <sighs> I guess you're right. Get your shit together, okay? We're with you. We're all with you, even old blood boil. The old bone? Well, that's a miracle. I'm sorry it had to be like this. Yeah, me too. Wow, new location, map updated, new goal, new clue. I'll bet the new location is the hospital. Oh, the railway station. All right, so we're back here. Let's talk to these jerks. Sonny. Guys. Listen. Despite all our differences, we're sorry about Martin. That roost is gonna be all right. He's indestructible. Yeah, I uh, hope you're right. If Me there's too. anything we can do, just let us know. We're at your service. Damn, do you guys really have to be this nice? Believe me, Sonny. This is hard for us, too. It sure is. <laughs> Thanks, boys. Yeah, she. Sonny, let me know if you need anything, all right? Believe me, I will. Mm. Glad to hear it. All right. Let's see if we can give him... Oh, let me... <laughs> it's... it's doing it again. Uh, select with the mouse. Let's see, um... How about no? <laughs> well, we don't have anything to give him. For clock's sake. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Santino, I don't know what to say. No need, sir. I, uh, I know how you feel. And I know you barely survived a shootout, too. If anyone can make it, it's Martin. I'm sure he will. 
Thank you, sir. That's uh, very kind of you. And the case you were working on? Look, boss, uh, officially we're not. Cut the crap, Santino. I'm well aware that you've been investigating off the books. I've known from the beginning. But tell me, did you find out anything? Well, I, uh, I think so, sir, but the last piece of the puzzle is still missing. If you need help, just crow, okay? How's that, boss? Don't make me repeat myself, Santino. Just do your job. And if you need backup, you know where to find me. Well, uh, yes, sir. Uh, thanks, boss. Okay. Yes? What do you want, Sonny? Nothing, just, uh... Well, thanks for standing. Don't push it, Santino. Just do what you do. B I'll try. Uh, yeah. Sonny, I'm so sorry. But I'm sure Marty will get out of it. Yeah, that's why I'm thinking of leaving. What? W what's that? This case has gotten way out of hand, Mon. Time to face it. I'm old and tired. Yeah. Slow, and Marty took the hit. Where would you go? What are you gonna do? I don't know what I'm gonna do. I have to think things through. But there's nothing more I can do here. Nobody likes a quitter! Well, it, it's your choice, but I hope you know we're here for you. We all are, so we'll come if you need us. Thanks, Mon. I appreciate that. Let's go give You're Zip welcome, his tail. Bastard. Yeah? What's up? Nothing, Mon. Well, I'm here if you need any. Thanks, sweetheart. Oh, Zips is locked. Oh, so we can leave town? Is that why we go to the railway station? What? My flats. I'm, everything is closed except the railway station. Let's look around this place a little bit more. Yeah, we've seen all everything. Tired colleague. Tough times, nothing. eh? Nothing. This dude, nothing. You? What's with this guy again? I'm sure Marty would have a witty comment. He keeps popping up all over the place, this guy. Right? He's the one that keeps showing up. We don't know why yet. Clawville Central Railway Station, and therefore the largest station in the city. Beautiful Grand Wall. Royal Era building built by King Hector's great 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 grandfather. All right. Secrets of the church not done yet. Farewell, Clawville. Nothing left to tie me here. Blood Bowl on his birthday. Still, clue not found. What the fuck? Go to the railway station. I pulled myself together and went into the station. I didn't care about anything. I just wanted to get the cluck out of Clawville. Marty was in the hospital. Mick got away. Disappeared. We got the confession out of the monkey, but we couldn't arrest him. All for nothing. Moses and Plato will get the case. It's their battle now. The chicken police are finished. We had a great ride, as Marty said. Whatever Lady Kayla's planning to do, it won't be up to me to stop it. Cluck me. This isn't my war. I'm not the shining armored defender of this city. I'm just another schmuck. <laughs> Out in the wilds, maybe. Everything will be different. Uh, balloons. No, let's go all the way over the station. What a beautiful building. One of the last citadels of the old Clawville. Balloons? It's like they're celebrating the fact that I'm finally leaving. 
If I grab a bunch of these, maybe I can just float away into the void. This whole dream could have worked. Where did we go? Wrong. Sorry, I cut that one short. Upper platform. They might send us up there, so let me look around here some more. Right, upper platform. Huh? And then... Train. Hmm. You don't often see a cargo train on this platform. Are they loading meat into it or out of it? Maybe I'm overthinking it, like everything else. There must be a reason it's here. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Leaving Clawville. Leaving Clawville. For others, it's easy. Why does it make me weak in the knees? Sonny. Ah, Bon. Ron? Oh, I'm glad I caught you here. What's up? What's the matter? Did something happen? Listen, I know you want to leave, and I, I totally get it. I started my life from scratch once, too, you know? The Velvet Queen, eh? You've had enough. You want to move on, and what happened to Marty? I don't want to talk about it. Maybe you feel like he doesn't need you anymore. He has Laura and the baby. I'm just a pain in the waddle. Hmm. And I did this to him. And don't you think someone else might need you? Oh, Mon, I, uh... I... I have to move on. This city, it... it she needs me. you, you moron! But if I can't convince you, then... Oh, let me show you something. It's not gonna change my decision. <laughs> I know. But if you've made up your mind, a few minutes won't make any difference, right? Well, I... I guess a few minutes can't hurt. So, with Filmar's help, we tracked a shipment. Oh? This shipment right in front of you why is it so important where's it going to stavonia uh-huh take a good look around sonny that's all i ask and then we'll talk well uh okay i can do that all right mon what the hell are you doing here Aha! First of all, Destination Stavonia. Well, of course. A royal seal. Why doesn't that surprise me? What else is there? Content of delivery. Meat-like supplementary food ration. Hmm. Finally, type of sh for all the furry, sh scaly, and feathery gods. There's M-E-A-T in all of those boxes. All of them will be taken out of Clawville, and not just anywhere. Straight to Stavonia. Peace talks still haven't started, so... If the scandal over the meat substitute blows up... I don't need a vivid imagination, but if half of what I think is true... That woman doesn't just want the throne. She wants, she wants war. The wedding is tonight. But, if you're leaving, just leave the rest to us. You are one devilishly smart cookie, Monica Rosen. I don't know what you're talking about. Huh. <laughs> okay, I'll drive. We'll get the team together and meet back at my place. Sonny? Yeah? You're not here. I was just thinking about Marty and the Hive. About why we got into all of this. Sonny? The whole city's counting on you right now. Marty knows that, and that's what he wanted. Maybe, but if I'd done it alone, I'd be the one in hospital, not him. This is not helping. Just focus, okay? Ah, uh, I know. Global conspiracy. Cluck, cluck, cluck. That's right. Come on, let's get the trash panda. <laughs> All right, and we can give him his tail back. What's this guy got to say? Any other news, Pip? Marty McChicken's been shot, sir, but I don't feel like shouting that out loud today. Thanks, Aww. kid. That means a lot. You're welcome, Mr. Featherland. You're a good kid. Keep it that way. Don't let the old man spoil you. Ha! 
I won't, sir. Take it easy. Breaking news! Surprise wedding in the Great Cathedral! The king is getting married! If you shout like that, it won't be a surprise. There's some truth to that, sir. Hey, little guy. What a big voice you have. Thank you, ma'am. You're very kind. It's for my work. Sonny, you never told me you had such nice friends. This is Pip, man. Uncle Mullen's pupil. Pleased to meet you, Pip. Pleasure to meet you, young lady. Well, I'm no longer a young lady, but thank you, Pip. Huh? Hey, boss man. And dear Monica. Good to see you guys. Hello, boys. Listen, we need your help. We heard about Martin, Sonny. You can count on us, whatever you need. Thanks, Pop. I'll tell you everything. But not here, it's not safe. But my place is. So meet us at the Atlas Hotel. Say no more, old cock. I'm closing up shop right now. Should I get the shotgun from under the bar? Yes. If it's not just a fantasy. And my eternal gratitude, guys. See you soon. We'll be there, sonny boy. <laughs> it won't let me grab... I'll use my mouse. Hey, Zip. Listen, before Marty caught those slugs, we got your tail back. Call me a goat and milk me dry. Thanks, sonny. That's okay. That means a lot. I'm going to give Marty a pat on the back when he gets out of the loony bin. <laughs> You'll get the chance. Hey, sonny, really, thank you for this, man. I know it's just a miserable, ugly, raggedy, scabby tail. I can never unhear that sentence. But it's still mine, and it means a lot to me. Well, you'll have to take better care of it from now on. Don't get mixed up with the most feared gangsters in town again. No promises on that. <laughs> the case of the missing tail. Got Zip's tail back. Achievement unlocked, bruh. How's it hanging, old cock? I'd say you're looking well for the circumstances, but I guess lying won't help you now. <laughs> Thanks, Zip. Still kicking. But I don't know if that's going to last too long. Come on. As long as the city stands, you're going to be in it. That's just it, Zip. Uh. As long as the city stands. Wait. You're not going to blow up the whole dump, are you? It's not part of the plan yet, but we can't rule it out. Couldn't have said it better myself. I would say you two belong together. But instead, run away, dear Monica. Run while you can. Ah, <sighs> Stop it, Zip. Okay. Uh, Mullen. We'll be there, sonny boy. Thanks, Paps. All right. My place, right? Or do we have to round up more people? Can we go get Boo Boo? No. Go to the distant light then. Get the queen. Or are we gonna get those two guys to help us? <laughs> those two, the two uh, bouncer guys, Let's the cockroaches. Hey, I'll yeah. be right there, chicken. Nice. No entry to the queen today. Out of the way, boys. We're not here to play around. Huh? Who the hell are you? Wait, are you the, the Velvet Queen? Yeah, so get out of the way. We came to see Zenaida. Uh, yeah. Thanks, boys. What the? Okay, <laughs> we need to talk about this whole Velvet Queen thing when this is over. You sure you want to know? You know, Mon, that's Maybe the not. worst thing about being a detective. I want to know stuff I know I don't want to know. Okay, I'll tell you one day. But we have work to do. Deal. Let's go. There's another spinoff. The Velvet Queen. Down to the hole we go. All right. Nothing new here except let's talk to the Queen. Or uh, shut up. Might as well just start with the Queen. Ah, Monica Rosen. It's been so long. 
A lifetime. Now, I have a favor to ask of you, Zaneda. Oh, Cluck. How much easier it would have been if you'd been with us from the beginning. I'm sorry? Nothing, just go ahead. <laughs> no shit, what right? happened to your partner, Detective? We're very sorry. But we think we warned you. True, but we've learned things that can change everything. It goes beyond us. It goes beyond even you, Your Majesty. Our silk threads are always quivering. The storm is coming. And we feel it too. And it will be a storm of a lifetime. Will you help us? Kala will help you. Call her if you need anything. We assume you're aware that she's in cohorts with your friend, Mr. Hayworth. I am. You're working for the King, too? <laughs> On the contrary, Mr. Featherland. But there are times when two enemies unite against a greater threat. Hmm. Glad to hear it. The Great Web will help you. As long as our interests are aligned. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Thank you, Zaneda. We'll be in contact. Yeah, thanks, Spider Queen. We're sure you will. How about you? Huh. You don't waste time. We're as busy as a bee, Mr. Featherland, now that the Web is willing to help. As long as we have our interests in common. And how long will that take? Who knows? Maybe only days. It's a fragile thread. Be ready. We have a plan. And we'll need everyone. I'm always ready, Mr. Featherland. You won't hesitate when the time comes, will you? What are you implying? Will you do what you have to do, even if you have to get your hands dirty? Oh, don't be afraid of that. He's wearing gloves for a reason, ain't you, boss bird? I do what I have to do. Good. Long live the king. Yeah, something like that. Okay. So we've got them. Maybe later. How about uh, the pianist? Let's see him around. Bartender? Nope. Okay, we're good, I guess. That's the police station. Hey, Sonny. How's it going with Marty? We don't know anything yet. Unfortunately, they won't let anyone near him right now. Ah, uh, cluck. Yeah, pretty much. Listen, Phil, I need your help. I gotta get a small team together, and we don't have much time. Is this about the wedding? Partially. I'll tell you everything. You know where I live, right? Of course I do. I've been watching you for a long, long time. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. Tonight? Tonight. How romantic. Mon. I'll be there, Sonny. You can count on me. Thanks, Hawkeye. Tonight, tonight. You said if I needed anything. But we didn't think that time would ever come. Especially <laughs> not so soon. Guys. Please. All right. We promised what we promised. Of course, we are at your disposal. What do you need? I'll tell you everything, but the walls here have ears. Yes, I must agree. Bruh, even the police aren't safe anymore. Bruh. Meet me at my place, Bruh. and don't tell anyone where you're going. Is this about Marty? Unfortunately, it's bigger than him. Bigger than any of us. That sounds cryptic. Cryptic is an understatement. So, can I count on you? We'll be there. On? Yeah? What's up, boss bird? Nothing, Mon. Just, ah, uh, I don't know. Well, I'm here if you need anything. <laughs> That's awesome. You just let me know. Thanks, sweetheart. That means a lot. Okay. Did 
Did we win? Not yet. I think we're going to win tomorrow night, you guys. Because... I'm afraid we're going to have to stop right here. I'm afraid if we if we go over to my house right now, we're going to get sucked into a big thing. And my back is, is really, really sore right now, so I got to stop streaming. I got to go chill. I'm going to go have some dinner, watch some TV on the couch. We'll come back to this tomorrow night, and I got a feeling we're probably going to wrap it up tomorrow. So come on back tomorrow. We will stop right here for the night, okay? We'll come back tomorrow, you guys. It'll be sick. And I think we're going to I think we're going to wrap it up. All right, Glegger, thank you. Thank you everybody for being here tonight, man. I do appreciate you guys very much. Tomorrow, 4 o'clock Eastern U.S. time, we'll start with Hitman, then we'll do this. Uh, there'll be no stream on Thursday. Okay, haven't decided about Friday yet. But Thursday, Thanksgiving Day here in the U.S., no stream or email. All right? See you guys tomorrow, though. Thank you very much, and good night. Bye-bye. Bye, bye-bye.